now look at some of the people visiting the convention who are less focused on the speeches than the collectibles. Posters, hats, and buttons have always been a part of American politics, and this convention, of course, is no different. And no one knows the history of political memorabilia like Larry Bird and Harry Rubenstein, two curators from the Smithsonian Museum of American History. One of the things we're doing is just meeting and introducing ourselves to the various delegations and letting them know that we're interested in collecting from them went by the Virgin Islands and noticed that all of them were wearing a particular textile. They have attended every convention since the 1980s. Nice hat. And they don't just have access to the delegates on the floor. They have long relationships with both political parties, who give them special access to their materials backstage. We're allowed to get them ahead of time. We like to have good, clean copies of them to take that are museum quality, that haven't been scrambled on. It was really common to see a sign with a candidate name on one of these polls. They've added on this one, a we love, just to make it different and new and fresh. We must work like never before. When all of these signs are put out on the hall, you'll see the sea of these signs rising up and down and will create an entire effect on the convention. That if it's successful, it will completely change the mood of that moment. That's what's sort of so interesting to us. A few months ago, we visited their archives in Washington to see their vast collection, which isn't open to the public. These units here are buttons all the way down to that poster. We really trace our collection to these brass buttons that were made for George Washington's first inauguration. This material really doesn't exist any other place but in our collection. This is a little, um, they're meant to hug the top of a pencil, kind of like an eraser. We're not really looking at this as who's winning the campaign, who isn't. Um, we're not documenting actually the campaigns themselves. That's a real Kennedy hat. It's the first time I've seen somebody wearing a collectible. We're really trying to get a sense and record this larger historical moment in time.